Hello students, welcome to my channel Physics Tricks. Today we will study about projectile motion. In this, three quantities are very important. Range, height and time of flight. This height is maximum height, right? Now, how to find, how to actually remember all these formulas? To remember, it's very simple, right? So, if you have the kinematics knowledge, you can easily find out the maximum height, range and the time of flight. So firstly, I am calculating the maximum height. See, maximum height formula we have v square minus u square is equal to as, right? So using kinematics equation, kinematic equation, v square minus u square is equal to 2a. Yes, now only remember height and the time of flight depends only on the vertical component. Okay, so vertical component, which one? U sin theta. So always use u sin theta. Now vertically, when it is at maximum height, vertically it is zero. Vertical velocity will be zero. So zero square is equal minus u square means u square sin square theta is equal to 2 into minus z y minus z downward z into capital H so you will get h as u square sin square theta divided by 2g that's it this is the maximum height right now time of flight right so time of flight we have for time of flight we have one formula v is equal to u plus at so v is equal to u plus at. Now final velocity at maximum height will be 0. So time required from here to here is equal to time required from here to here. So this is time of ascent you can say and this is time of descent you can say. So this is time t1 and this is time t2. If I consider from here that is from starting point till this point time t1 and from this point till this point time t2 so we can say that t1 is equal to t2 isn't it one is time of ascent other one is time of descent so time of ascent must be equal to time of descent provided air resistance is not there okay so we can say v final velocity vertical direction 0 is equal to u sin theta minus g into c t1 is equal to t2 so total time of flight is t so we can say this is t by 2 isn't it so we have t time of flight as 2u sin theta divided by g this is the time of flight so first one is u square sin square theta by 2g second one 2u sin theta by g now how to find range range in this direction there is no acceleration in horizontal direction there is no acceleration you can say acceleration is equal to 0 in horizontal direction Right, so acceleration is equal to 0 in horizontal direction. As acceleration is equal to 0, this velocity is uniform velocity. That means u cos theta will never change. If I ask what is the horizontal velocity at this point, you have to say u cos theta. Why u cos theta? Because it will never change. What is the horizontal velocity at this point? u cos theta only. It will never be changed. Right, so it is uniform throughout the motion. So we can write range formula as r is equal to u cos theta in this direction u cos theta into whatever time required time required will be same right so we will get u cos theta into what is time 2u sin theta by g just put 2u sin theta by g so which is equal to 2u square sin theta into cos theta by g and we know one formula 2 sin theta into cos theta is sin 2 theta so directly you can write u square sin 2 theta divided by g so these are the three formulas that you have to remember in as per the projectile motion concern right